the Prophet says, and this is the wisdom behind this hadith. The Messenger says, يُبْتَلَ الرَّجُلُ عَلَىٰ حَسْبِ دِينِهِ A person will be tried with hardship, with challenges, trials, according to the level of his Iman, according to the level of his faith and his deen. أَشَدُّ النَّاسِ بَلَاءً الْأَنْبِيَاءِ The people who receive the most or the hardest trials are the prophets. Then the ones nearby in Iman. Then the, one near, the ones nearby and so on and so forth. A person will be tried according to the level of their faith. Why? For Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves the prophets most and the righteous ones most. According to the level of your iman, of your taqwa, Allah loves you. So why does Allah send more trouble when He loves more? Because trial is good. Ultimately, there is so much wisdom and benefit in trials. But the thing is that most of us are short-sighted not to notice that. It's the wisdom of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Many times Allah sends opportunities our way and when we see them we, consider them, we consider them to be trouble. We consider them to be problems. We consider them to be challenges that will wreck our life, that will destroy our life. But in reality, these are gifts from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Consider the life of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa himself. In Mecca, 13 years, he's calling the people to Islam, saying to them, I am showing you the way that le the way that can take you from your path to the hellfire. And I'm guiding you to the way leading to eternal happiness, to the pleasure of Allah, to paradise. That's what's, what's every human being has in his own heart as an intrinsic talent to search eternal happiness, to search the pleasure of Allah, to search the ultimate state of resourcefulness has been put in the heart, in the heart of every human being. Yet what was the response? He was challenged. He was persecuted. His companions were tortured, were killed in front of his eyes. And he couldn't do anything. What was the outcome? The best nation ever brought forth to mankind. History was written with actions of the companions of the Prophet ﷺ who went through these very trials. Ask yourself the question, who are the best Muslims in the history, in the history of Islam? Who are they? The companions of the Prophet ﷺ. The Messenger ﷺ makes that clear when he says, This nation of yours, the best state of it, the best of it, has been in the early stages of it. And in another hadith, the Prophet ﷺ says, The best of humanity, the best of people ever are my generation. Why? Who are the best among the companions? That's another question. Who are the best of the companions? The ones who when they had contact with the world, with the outside world, they transformed the face of the earth. They were the leaders of Islam for about 60 years after the life of the Prophet ﷺ. The amount of transformation they brought to humanity has no parallel whatsoever. Where did it come from? It came from the persecution they went through in the early stages. So if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to transform you, Allah wants to make you a better Muslim, you cannot ascend to a higher level of faith, of iman, of skill, of personal strength. What does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala do? What does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala do to you? If you settle for complacency, and you feel relaxed. You don't want to get out of your comfort zone. What does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala do to you? He sends trials your way. Why? To transform you. So that you become a better person. And this is one of the explanations that the scholars gave for the very famous verse that we quote when we are in trouble. فَإِنَّ مَعَ الْعُسْرِ يُسْرَى إِنَّ مَعَ الْعُسْرِ يُسْرَى Indeed, with every hardship, there is ease. That's the ease. The ease is within the hardship itself, but it manifests itself best when the hardship is over and you find yourself to be a totally different person on a higher level of faith, a higher level of conduct, a higher level of achievement in every aspect of your life. But when we are in the trial, what happens? Our intellect, our understanding contracts. We start to question the wisdom of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But bear in mind, 
whenever a trouble comes your way, whenever a trouble comes your way, consider that to be a gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you have been unable to grow up to a higher level and Allah has given you the opportunity now. But by the way, if you don't maintain this mentality or this outlook on trial, what will happen? The trial will turn out to be punishment for you and you will miss all the advantages of that. Who says that? The Prophet He makes it clear when he says in the hadith, which he actually narrates from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a hadith Qudusi, a divine hadith. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and listen to this beautiful statement. He says, أَنَا عِنْدَ ظَنِّ عَبْدِي بِي فَلْيَظُنَّ عَبْدِي بِي مَا شَاءَ Wallahi, by this hadith, you can live your life without trouble, with, with, with internal peace that can never be disrupted. I am to my servant as he thinks about me. What do you think about Allah? I am to my servant as he thinks about me. So when the trial comes your way, what, what are the thoughts that you have to have about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? If you maintain good thoughts that are in accordance with the names and attributes of Allah. And this is why if you want to attain this high level, you need to learn the names and attributes of Allah. That He is the most wise. He is the omnipotent. His knowledge encompasses everything. There's no, there's no value learning these without applying them in our lives. So when you know that Allah is the most wise, the trial comes your way, you know that everything happens by the permission of Allah. It happens by the permission of Allah and Allah is wise. It must be good for me. I'll trust Allah and I'll march forward and I see what opportunity Allah has put it, Allah has put in my way through this trial. I'll see through it and I'll be able to get to, to savor the rewards of that. The Prophet ﷺ one day came to this companion and the, the companion had fever. He was dehydrated and he was in severe pain. The Prophet ﷺ says to him, it's a, it's a mercy from Allah. It's a trial. So be patient. The Prophet ﷺ is trying to teach him the same wisdom. The man says, no, it's hell for me. It's punishment. The Messenger ﷺ then said, then it is. The way you see it. This is how you will react to it and this is what you will get at the end. When Allah tests you, Allah wants you to grow higher. The Prophet ﷺ makes it clear in a very beautiful hadith. He says that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sometimes has a high level of reward in Jannah for a person. Allah has dedicated or has allocated a high rank for a person in Jannah. And the person is so complacent that he doesn't do actions, he doesn't do righteousness, he doesn't contribute to qualify to that rank. So what does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala do? So Allah tries him in order to scrape off his sins. So he grows to qualify for that rank. So maintain that notion as you go through trials. The trials we go through have been tailored for us, but we need to have the right understanding, the right impression about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.